So what did you think about the program tonight? I thought it was very informative. I'm very, very pleased that I came out. And we need more of these sorts of things to happen in our, not just in our community, but all communities. And for us to go forward, we have to have dialogue and conversation. We can't uh, get beyond that until we start doing that because we are so segregated, not just uh, in the gay community, but all of them. We're still very divided. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to be done, but this is a step forward in making progress. They're very pleased about it because we are so very segregated and we don't realize how bullying does happen. It happens at home, it happens out in the community, it happens in school. Uh, and we do have high alarming numbers here, right here in Georgia, of bullying, and, and not only that, our homelessness of the, in the gay and lesbian community, and, and it starts at age 13 right here in Georgia on the street, and how do we have such a large population of gay community and we have no outreach center in Georgia. I, I think that's just marvelous. And hopefully, you know, we will see some changes coming up very, very soon to address those issues in our community. And you're both a business owner and you're on television, so you're both a celebrity and a business owner. I want to ask you, how important is it uh, for celebrities to speak out for the gay community and for business owners to do the same thing. Well, celebrities have such a hard time. They got so much baggage on their shoulders too. You know, we just are not ready in America for people to be who they, who they are. You know, we've got a whole lot of issues that we're dealing with and, you know, being a celebrity has its baggage and, you know, you just don't want to take on any more. But for the black community, it's hard. I, I think one of the gentlemen asked, you know, how is it different? It is very, very different for black Americans to be out and, and because we're not comfortable with our sexuality. Uh, and I'm speaking at the black community that I, I come from, we're just not comfortable with it. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it in church. We don't want to talk about it in school. And we most definitely don't talk about it in homes. So, you know, you learn the things that you learn about your sexuality out of the street. And I think we have to get comfortable with our parents and us youth and, and new generation parents have to be comfortable with sexuality and talking about it because um, it does not go away. You know, we don't, we wouldn't have the problem that we have with HIV and AIDS in our community if we talked about it. You know, we act like it does not exist, but it, yet it does. And it's a huge problem. And so we have to, and we must have dialogue about it. For as a professional, I've always been an artist. You know, so I've never really had a nine to five job. I've always been a creative force, and I'm just really, really blessed. And I came from two generations of ministers. My father and my grandfather were Pentecostal ministers. So therefore, it was very difficult for me to come out. My mother just happened to be eavesdropping a conversation, a good, juicy conversation with my partner at that time. And uh, that's how they discovered that I was different. But uh, I'm just blessed, and, uh, and I try to encourage the youth to be who they are. And as I go around and I speak to other people, I encourage their parents to let their children be the flowers that they are. Because when you pick a career that you enjoy, something that you love, you're going to be good at it. If it means you just like cleaning a toilet, be the best toilet cleaner that you can be, and you'll be successful at it. Don't try to, to judge others, and it's a part of step. As the world becomes so minutely small, we will find that this to be true, and uh, we will move forward. And the very last question, do you miss being on TV? Do you miss the Housewives? Or? I do not miss being on that show, particularly. I have not watched it last year, but I do hear a lot of comments about it. And uh, it was fun. It was foot, the footsteps that I was anointed and ordained for me. I'm forever grateful. I'm still very friends with all of them. I love them all for their endurance. But I feel that when you know better, you do better. And um, being on television was great. It had its advantages and its disadvantages. And it's not over yet. It's, it's just, it's just, there's a whole lot behind this door that America <laughs> have not seen. And I, you know, just have so much. We can do the foolery, but still, let's have some substance. You know, we don't right. have to be step and fetch anymore. Uh, have some substance and yet entertain. And I think um, it seems as though the reality TV is not going anywhere. So we're making steps forward. And it's not over. This is the beginning.